this is my new uh, one terabyte SSD card that I decided to purchase for myself to put my PC upgrade it a little bit um, I've got an SSD in my machine but Windows runs off that and normally I've played off my SATA drives but some of the open world games are a bit laggy um, especially Daisy Standalone which is unplayable for me um, so I'm hoping this might give me a bit better results obviously SSDs run a lot faster read a lot faster than the SATA drive um, anyway I picked this one LW Black up from uh, Amazon. I was only going to get a 500 uh, megabyte, but then this one was on sale. A bit more than I wanted to spend, but it was on sale, so I got this one. They say I don't really game on 240, anything below 500. Don't really game on it. So I wanted 500 or above when I was getting this, so I was pleased. Uh, mine's M.2 for SSD that I need to win mine. In my uh, motherboard. So check that, I just to go to mine. Checked, I got the right one. Which we did. It's a bit fiddly to get into these things. Um, but we'll install this in my machine. And hopefully, I have a uh, better gaming experiences. Quite nice finish. Western Digital SSD card. Same one terabyte. Um, you need to make sure you get the right one, like I said, otherwise, you'll be very disappointed. Anyway, this is my me putting in my machine. I have room for two SSDs to go in my machine. One above on my graphics card and one below. I'm going to install this one above. Um, basically because the graphics cards can get quite hot and uh, I don't want to put mine below, I have not got a guard to go over it you can get little guards to go over your SSD cards to protect them from heat in case they go below a piece of equipment like a graphics card because obviously they can get pretty hot uh, but I've got an option to install mine above so I'm going to put it above these are the little brackets you need to put it on put your screw on but the first one there I thought it went on that but it doesn't go on that it's going to go to the right over there with those other three we're just going to place it on there and it's easy enough to do and then just below like I said I've got an option below my graphics card but I don't want it getting too hot so I decided against that like I said you can get a little shield just point there where the heat can come down and we don't want that there's like a little space that you need to put in first your SSD card is going to sit on top of that and we're going to put a screw in top however I had to buy a new kit <laughs> I didn't have the screw to go in top I had some parts that came with a PC PC specialist built it for me and I've got like some parts, I had a spacer, but for some reason won't screw in there, which we need to keep it secure. So anyway, I ordered that and got it next day from Amazon, and here it is. A few spaces in there for any upgrades I want to do. Um, and a little screw there as well, to make sure it goes in place, a screw that we had missing. It's a bit frustrating, having to wait till the next day, but there you go. And we're just going to bob it in there, on that first one. And slide it in, easy enough. There's a the space I'm going to put in there. I'm going to put that in first. I need that for it to sit on it. Um, you probably, if you guys do it, there's a little screw that's going to secure it. Very small parts, like I said. Very fiddly. If you guys are going to do it, you're probably going to need to take your graphics card out. It depends on how your computer's set up, do you know what I mean? But I've got incredibly small hands, so I didn't need to. It was still fiddly for me, so I doubt you guys will be able to do it. If you've got normal hands, unlike me. Um, I just did it without taking anything out. Here's my uh, SSD card. I'm going to put it in there. Okay, the as well. I'm going to say make sure you get the right end. Mine has a long part and a little space. Put mine on the little uh, brass part there. We're just going to put it in. A little part where you just put it in. You like nearly flat and you just push it and you'll hear it click. And you know it's in place. Once you've done that, you're good to go to the USB station. So click that, it's in. But now it's like a diving board, it's springing up and down. We don't want that. So this way we're gonna put a screw into the space. Doesn't take long. You'll need a little screwdriver as well. I use my hand at first and I tighten up later with a screwdriver. Let's get it in there. And there it is, it's done. There it is. You've got to tell your computer you've put a drive in obviously, an SSD. Well it's not gonna pick it up, but I'll put a little link in there. I guided a little good little video so that can literally take seconds. Here it is on Steam. And now the option of an extra drive. And there we go, D drive. Save my open world games to that. Thanks for watching, guys.